guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is no secret that I love Sol de Janeiro fragrances. I have almost all of them. I think I'm missing just one, but I have been a huge fan of their fragrance mist ever since I first discovered them. And I always look forward to their new releases. So they just launched three new fragrance mists. I ordered them so fast. Like I ordered them before they even got in stores. So I've had my hands on them for a little while now. I don't know what's taking me so long to do this video because now there's a ton of different reviews. It's all over TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with them, but I figured I would just share my thoughts on all the other fragrance mists because I know whenever I was first getting into them, I wasn't really familiar with all the different fragrances that they have and now they have even more. So I feel like it could be kind of overwhelming if you guys haven't tried any other fragrances before. I do also have other products from the line and I also wanted to include dupes to different products and fragrances and just similar scents that I have that are a fraction of the price. Although I do think their products are really good quality and they are worth it. They have some really good scents. Not everyone has money or want to spend like $20 on a body mist. So I got you. I pulled out some fragrances that I think are similar that I have in my collection and we're gonna be chatting about them in today's video. So before we get started, if you guys are new here and never watched any of my videos before, I do videos all about hygiene, fragrance, and body care. I also do a ton of haul videos. So if that is something you're into, I would love to have you subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. That way you guys won't miss an upload. I do post new videos every single week and I will also have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below as well. I think we're gonna start off with the brand new ones, which by the way, I don't have my nails done. Not that, you know, that's anything to apologize for, but it just feels so weird to not have longer nails. I literally just removed them before the end of this video because one popped off. So yeah, it always feels so weird to not have them done, but literally I feel like I can do anything. Like it feels so good to like make a fist. I have a lot of glue residue left over on my nails. I plan on doing them before this video, but I'm kind of short on time. So yeah, just bare nails today. And if you see any glue residue, that's what it is. We're first gonna dive into the fragrance mist, but a little bit about them in case you guys haven't tried them before. They're body mists. These bottles here, this is three fluid ounces and these are around 19 or $20. They do have a larger size now that is available in more of like their signature scents. So like the original scent and a couple of the others are now available in like the larger size bottles. I don't have any of them. I just have, I guess these medium size ones because I do have even smaller ones that are available in some of the other travel sets that they have. But these are not only body mists, but they're also hair mists. So you can use them from head to toe. And I really love that about them because I especially love using these in my hair. I love using different hair perfumes and hair mists. It just kind of elevates your scent of the day and really helps it last a lot longer. So I love the fact that you can use these all over. Pretty much they all have the same packaging. They're just like different colors. It's definitely giving a summer vibe, which I really like. So these really caught my attention whenever I first saw them online. I think this collection here is the first time they had done a colored lid. All the other ones have been white, but you just take it off and here is the fragrance mist. So I really love the packaging. It's just like the signature Sol de Janeiro look. This first one here in the pink bottle is called Tan Lines. And whenever I was first reading about these, whenever they're online, I knew I had to try this one. For one, I love coconut scents and a lot of the fragrances have a coconut note and this smells so good. This is very beachy. It's this combination of like florals with coconut. One thing I really appreciate about their packaging is it has a breakdown of the fragrance notes. So it gives you the top notes, the mid notes and the base notes. This one has top notes of late de coco. I'm probably butchering that. So please, please don't come for me. I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce some of the other scent notes and warm sand. In the middle notes, you have solar tuberose, ylang ylang, and the dry down is creamy vanilla and amber essence. This to me smells like a really good suntan lotion. I know there's several scents out there that kind of have that same scent profile. And always with these type of fragrances, it's always you either love it or you hate it. So if you have other fragrances in your collection that you love that kind of have that like sunblock, suntan lotion type of smell, I think you would like this one. But there's a little bit more than that to it also. There's some florals mixed in there where I think this smells very expensive and it's kind of reminding me of some other fragrances I have in my collection. I am definitely a fan of this one. I think it smells really good. It has this like creaminess to it with the coconut and I really love a tuberose note. It's just nice combination combination of like sweet creamy notes mixed in there with florals. A couple of scents that I have, the first one being definitely is At The Beach from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. This is like a summer staple to have in your collection. It's one of the scents that you just throw in your beach bag and you can take along with you. It's going to do really well in the really hot summer heat. I've even worn this one to the grocery store and I've had a woman ask what it is I was wearing. So I know At The Beach has been around forever from Bath & Body Works. Like I wouldn't call them dupes, but if you have At The Beach and you like it, more than likely you would like something like this. But something I 
I did want to point out is these fragrance mists don't have matching lotions or shower gels or anything. They only came out with the fragrance mist. You could always grab at the beach body cream or lotion along with the shower gel and just layer them together. I think the two would work really well together if you wanted to do like a full layering routine. Another product I do have in my collection is this from Maui Babe. This I actually found at Ulta. I think they're more so well known for their suntan lotions and their tanning oils and things, but this is actually a body butter. So if you're familiar with their other products, this pretty much smells exactly like it. It smells so good. I actually spent a day at the pool earlier last week and I ended up wearing this. I ended up throwing it in my bag and taking it with me, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. These two together would layer perfectly. I don't know why I didn't do that that day. I actually ended up layering this with At The Beach and also Soli Blanc from Tom Ford. And I just love that combination. So I just wanted to throw in a couple extras in case you guys are looking for something similar or what else it might smell like. But overall, I do really enjoy this one. It's just this kind of like creamy, beachy floral scent mixed with coconut and vanilla. Okay, the next one here is the one in the blue packaging. And this one is called Sea and Soul. A lot of people were loving this one because this is like the juiciest, fruitiest scent out of the new ones. This has top notes of juicy citrus and tangy starfruit, middle notes of pink pepper and fresh violet, and the dry down you have ocean musk and white driftwood. This smells so good. Like this smells like a candy. I know based off those scent notes you would think something just like a little bit more like perfume like with the pink pepper and the driftwood and the musk, but to me this smells like candy. And I know some other people have mentioned this kind of like blue raspberry note in there, and I definitely get it. To mix in there with the citrus, it just smells so good. Very sugary, sweet, and appropriate for summer. I just think it's so light and sweet, but still very refreshing. So I really enjoy this one. I don't know if I really have a scent that is super similar to this one. I'm sure there is something in my collection that's kind of similar, but I do think it would pair really well with something like Cotton Candy Clouds or Boardwalk Taffy from Bath and Body Works, just because that has that like light, airy, berry note in there. And I think the combination of the two would work really well together. If you're kind of scared off by this, by the citrus in there, the citrus is not overpowering. It's not really too heavy on the orange or anything. To me, it honestly just smells more so like candy and I'm definitely getting some type of berry note to mix in there. I don't know where exactly that's coming from out of all these scent notes, but it does smell really good and I feel like it's definitely a lot different than other scents Sol de Janeiro has done in the past. The last one that we have here out of the new collection is Tropical Night and this one is in this beautiful purple packaging. I just knew this was going to be one that I really, really like. Like, it's so hard for me to choose a favorite. This smells so good. I really love this one. So this has top notes of mandarin oil, night blooming jasmine. In the middle notes, you have vanilla absolute and patchouli. The dry down is creamy tonka bean and tobacco leaf absolute. This isn't quite as deep as you might think. Like, I feel like the packaging and the name and just reading those scent notes, you might think it's a very, like, deep, like, sultry type of scent. And while I think it is more like a nighttime fragrance, it definitely has that more, like, summer, even kind of beachy vibe to it. It's definitely one that you would wear in the evenings, but there's still something like very sweet about it that I really, really like. I think that deep vanilla note is really shining through and it's just really tying this all together, keeping it more of like a summer fragrance rather than like a fall scent. I really like fragrances similar to this. So there was nothing really right off the top of my head that reminded me a lot of this fragrance, but there are a couple that I think would layer really well to it or might be somewhat similar. So one that I wanted to compare would be Oahu Coconut Sunset. This this came out, I think it was last year, but there have been other scents kind of similar to it. And this has, you know, that coconut blossom. It has tuberose, minoy, and molten amber. It for sure is more of like an evening summer scent. And this is how I realized that vanilla note in there really sounds out a lot because when I compared the two of these, this one just smells so much sweeter. It has that deep, creamy, sweet vanilla note in there, but I do think you can definitely layer these two together, or really if you have any type of like coconut vanilla scent in your collection, like the coconut vanilla from Victoria's Secret Pink, like either the lotion or the oil, I think that would actually layer really well with this Tropical Nights. A couple other ones that I brought out, these don't really smell similar, but I kind of want to try layering them. Maybe Twilight Woods from Bath & Body Works. Obviously, you know, this has that more like woody note in there, but it also still is sweet. It has some sparkling berry notes in there. It has the lush berry, sparkling mandarin. It has a little bit more of those like bright, sweeter, like fruity notes that I think would also be a nice combination. And then the last one that I pulled out, mainly because of the tonka bean, it immediately reminded me of Dahlia from Bath & Body Works. It has the whipped tonka bean, the praline musk, and the Dahlia petals. I actually wore this one the other night and it's very, very long lasting. So who knows? That might also layer really well with Tropical Nights. Again, not saying any of those are dupes. 
they were just things that kind of came to mind that I think would layer really well and that had similar notes that kind of reminded me of this scent. I think this is its own unique scent and it just smells so good. Very rarely does a Sol de Janeiro let me down and I personally really enjoy all three of the new mists. Okay, let's continue on with another new-ish scent that they came out with and this one is the number 68. So typically all their mists are by different numbers rather than names, which it could get kind of confusing, but this one came out maybe a few months ago and I don't know if I mentioned, but it's the number 68. It's the one in the baby pink bottle and you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna say this about a lot of these, but this one right here, this is like up there. This is a scent that's kind of been done before. I feel like they have like their own kind of unique twist on it, but it also at the same time still smells very similar to a lot of other popular fragrances out there. So that's still a good thing because it's actually duping some more expensive perfumes. I know a lot of people were comparing this to Baccarat Rouge. And you know, I really can't say if I've actually smelled the actual real perfume. I have tried many, many other dupes out there. So I feel like I'm kind of familiar with what it's supposed to smell smell like and I can definitely see the similarities. It for sure kind of gives off that like Burberry Her Ariana Grande cloud vibe. It smells very similar to those type of fragrances but with a little bit more of a fruity twist. So that's why it reminds me a lot of Burberry Her because Burberry Her has a lot of those fruity top notes. This right here it has top notes of pink dragon fruit, lychee essence, middle notes of Brazilian jasmine and ocean air and hibiscus and the dry down you have sheer vanilla and sun musk. So this has that like musk musky, cloud-like scent to it, but mix in there with fruits. So that's why I think this makes it almost a little bit better and a little bit more appropriate during the summertime. It is a very, very sweet fragrance. So like I said, it's being compared to Ariana Grande Cloud, which obviously also reminds me of In the Stars from Bath & Body Works. I feel like these two are very similar, but it's missing that more fruity note. This would be more of like the unisex version. If you basically took out the fruity notes in this scent, you would have In the Stars. But if you want something that that's even closer to the Sol de Janeiro Mist, I think this one by Eau de Juice. This I actually got from Walmart for around like seven or eight dollars. And this is the scent Pure Sugar. These smell so, so similar. I don't know all the scent notes. I'm pretty sure I can find them online, but it is kind of on the lighter side. This has, I believe, a strawberry note. I think there's a praline note in there as well. It all kind of fits into that same scent family of Cloud, Burberry Her, Baccarat Rouge. There are so many other dupes out there, but this is one that you can find at Walmart. Not exact though, so I just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys happen to see this one. A lot of the times these can be on clearance for like $2. I've seen other people post it on Instagram that they found it for like super cheap. Once you kind of get past more of that like alcohol kind of dry down, I think you would find that they are pretty similar. But still, there's something very special about this one. And if you want to splurge a little and treat yourself, I don't think you would be disappointed. This one is a very strong, long lasting scent, especially for a fragrance mist. And they do actually have it in the matching body cream, which is amazing. Amazing. This tub right here, this is like the smaller one, but this is also around $20. It smells so good. It pretty much smells the same as the fragrance mist. You layer these two together and it's going to last for hours. Okay, this next one, we might be taking a different shift. I personally like this scent, but I feel like out of all their fragrances, this is the one that's the biggest hit or miss. I know there's a lot of people who don't really care for this scent and I can understand why because whenever I first tried it, I was like, no, absolutely not. Like I was not a fan of it. It took me a little while to get on board and it still isn't one of my top favorite scents but I wanted to have it in my collection and I do get use out of it every now and then. This is the one in the teal packaging. This one has been around for a while. It's called Coco Cabana and it's the number 39. So this is the extreme coconutty scent. Like this is literally at the very top of like the most coconutty scents I have in my collection. It is a super strong but it's also mixed in there with like some sweet almost kind of like buttery notes, which I think that's kind of where it starts to throw people off. So this has top notes of coconut cream, middle notes of warm vanilla and tropical orchid. Dry down, you have creamy sandalwood and toasted praline. Very, very strong, powerful fragrance. I'll never forget one of the first times I actually sprayed this in stores. I was in Sephora and there was a woman like a couple aisles down and she could smell it from that far away. And she was like, what? What is that scent? I had just sprayed it on one of the little tester cards. But I feel like this scent actually projects and on me, it lasts forever on my skin and in my clothes. So you really have to be on board with coconut scents to enjoy this one. A lot of people say it kind of has that like popcorn like smell and I can definitely see that. I for sure get that. I think that's what I was smelling a lot of in the beginning whenever I first sprayed it. But now I've noticed more of that creamy coconut come through even more. But it's definitely one that you might have to get used to. And I wouldn't say this would be a safe blind buy. I think there are others that you could just get 
um, if you're having to order off Sephora or something. But for all my coconut lovers out there, I think you would enjoy this one. You can easily find so many other coconut scents to layer along with it. I've actually even tried layering it with Ariana Grande's Cloud Perfume because it also has that coconut and praline note in there and it has that creaminess. And I actually did like the combination. So you can get a little creative with this one. And I do also have it in just the mini little size. This I actually got as a free sample. I did a few orders on Sephora. I'm not kidding. I probably have like 10 or more of these little samples. I picked up a couple of the coconut ones and I also have the original Boom Boom Cream. Anytime you're placing an order on Sephora, definitely look out for the little free gifts that you can add in because they almost always have the mini Sol de Janeiro body creams. Okay, the next one here is the number 40, which by the way, I have a couple of these that were part of the old packaging and those actually say the name and has the number a little bit smaller there on the bottle, but the newer packaging has it much larger and they don't have a name. It just has the number here on the front. So I do have a couple the mist with different packaging but it's all the same scents that they have now this one is the number 40 and it says black amber plum and vanilla woods i think this one came out maybe sometime last year it's still like somewhat fairly new compared to some of their other original scents this one has top notes of black amber plum and creme de cassis i'm not 100 confident on how i just pronounced that middle notes of jasmine blossom and brazilian orchid dry down you have vanilla woods and warm musk this to me is a very woody fragrance. Like this to me basically just smells like vanilla and sandalwood. I don't know exactly what type of vanilla woods they mean, but to me it smells more of like sandalwood. It's still very soft, but it does remind me more of an evening scent. It's not quite as like summery and beachy as some of their other fragrances. So this is one that you could wear all year round, I think especially during the fall season. It just gives me this more warm, cozy fall vibe, which I really, really like. I think if you're not really into those more like overly sweet gourmand scents, then this might be a better fit for you. It does remind me a little bit more of like a perfume. I'm not saying it's not a sweet scent. I can smell the vanilla in there, which I really enjoy. But in comparison to some of the others, because I know they do a lot of other like sweet gourmand scents, this seems a little bit more of like the mature out of the bunch. It is a warm, woody, floral scent, and they also do have it in the matching body cream. This I have in the smaller size. This one again is around $20. I really wish they would make matching creams to all their scents, but it smells just as good as the fragrance mist. If you have any type of like sweet, woody perfumes, then this would be the perfect combination. But I think this one is also strong enough to wear on its own. Okay, we're getting down to the last two scents and these these are getting down to my top two favorites. Like I said, I have a love for almost all of them, but this one right here, the number 71, this is a gourmand lover's dream. If you love sweet gourmand, like really warm scents, then you definitely need this one in your collection. This is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia scent. This smells like freshly baked cookies. So if you wanna smell like a snack, this is the scent to throw on. This has top notes of caramelized vanilla, sea salt, middle notes of toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, and in the dry down you have tonka bean, and coconut blossom. Doesn't that sound so delicious? I will never get tired of this scent. It smells so good. It is so warm and those scent notes like the caramelized vanilla, a little bit of the sea salt and the toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate, they really come through and that's what makes this smell like a white chocolate chip macadamia cookie. Like those ones that you get from Subway. When they're pulling those out of the oven, that is what this smells like and it smells so delicious. I feel like I've had this one for about a year now and it smells even better than the day that I got it. It's just like marinating in here and just getting even sweeter. I will say since this is more of like a heavy gourmand scent, it's probably better to pull out during the colder season because it does have like that toasted kind of like cozy feel to it. But really, if you love sweet gourmand scents, pull this one out all year round. It's gonna have you smelling like an actual cookie. Please, please, Sol de Janeiro. I I know you're probably not watching this, but please come out with a matching body cream to this. It would smell so good. I already know it. We need a full line in this scent. I know a lot of people love this one as well. So this one is definitely reserved for more of my fellow sweet gourmand lovers. If you're not really into that thing, you probably won't be into it, but I encourage you if you're in Sephora, at least go get this one a sniff. Okay, and the very last one that I have here is the original scent. This is the Brazilian Crush. This is basically like the base to their brand. Like majority of their products have this scent. And this is the number 62. It's like the OG. It's definitely, I think, probably their most popular scent. So I do have the older bottle. I'm actually almost done with it. I'm like right here towards the bottom. I definitely think if I were just to use this over the next few days, I could probably get through it because I just go in and spray my hair 
hair. I sprayed my whole body with this. It just smells so good. This is one of those scents that I will never get tired of. I don't even think this is only reserved for the summertime. You can literally wear this all year round. It just somehow works in all different seasons. So I really love this one. My bottle actually doesn't have the fragrance notes listed like how the other ones have the top, mid, and dry down. I don't know if it's just for this scent in particular or if it's because this is the older bottle. I cannot put together the words to describe this scent. I feel like any way to describe it is not giving it justice. It smells like summer in a bottle, but somehow because it has those more like sweet gourmand notes in there, it works during the fall and winter season. I personally wear this one all year round because of that salted caramel notes and the vanilla. It has this warm, cozy vibe to it that I absolutely love. I'm so happy that there are other products in this scent. I actually don't have the perfume. I really want the Sol de Janeiro perfume, but I remember I watched this review like last year sometime whenever I was first getting into all the fragrance mist, and I saw some people saying that the fragrance mist is actually just as strong as the perfume. So if you guys have the perfume and the fragrance mist, let me know what you think, if it's worth it or not, because I definitely don't mind buying the full-size bottle because I know I already love the scent, but since I already have the fragrance mist, I don't know if it's 100% worth it. I have a lot to talk about when it comes down to this scent because I have several other products. There's a lot of dupes out there as well. So first, let's talk about the Boom Boom Cream. This is very popular. Again, I just have this mini size. I have about seven of these in this scent, and this one I'm almost done with, but it smells so good. It smells just like the fragrance mist. It's very sweet and like heavy on that caramel note. It's like a nutty gourmand scent because of that pistachio in there. I know a really popular dupe to this would be Tropic Low from Tree Hut, so I definitely had to mention this because they also have the scrub and the body butter. If you don't want to spend like 20, 40 bucks on the body butter, just grab Tropic Low. This one smells so good. The formula on this is so nice. It feels so lightweight on your skin. This is perfect for the summertime. It's not quite as strong as the original Boom Boom Cream, but this is around, I think like $8, give or take. So very affordable, especially for the size. This is 8.4 ounces, a really generous amount for the price. And there was a time where I was really tempted to get the body scrub. I smelled it at Sephora and it just, it wasn't giving. I feel like it wasn't smelling as good as some of their other products. I don't know if that scrub had been sitting there for a long time or what was the deal. It just was not giving me that classic Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream scent. The scent on it was very light and for the price I just I could not justify spending that much money on a scrub that didn't smell as good as the other products. That's where I think Tropic Glow is the way to go. This smells even better than the scrub I had tried in stores. This is my backup one. I've gone through a couple of these already. I have one in the shower now and it smells so good to me I personally don't really smell a difference like if you were to blindfold me and put this in front of my face I would think this is Sol de Janeiro this is supposed to be a firming scrub because all other products you know this is for the booty it's supposed to help firm and tighten your skin and personally I, I don't really know if it really does that. Like, I don't know if the original does or if the Tree Hut one does. I just personally use it for the scent, so just keep that in mind. But it is supposed to help firm and tighten your skin. So a lot of people use this around their booty and their legs, just anywhere where you want to just tighten up a little bit. Okay, something new that just hit the shelves, and this basically broke the internet last year whenever it first launched. Everyone was trying to get their hands on it. I had no idea this was like such a big deal. Remember I found it randomly one day in stores, and I was like, wait, that kind of sounds familiar to the Boom Boom Cream, and turns out it pretty much is. So this is another very close dupe. This is a seasonal product, so you're only gonna find this during the summertime. It is limited edition, and this is the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. It has that classic Boom Boom Cream scent. It's a little bit lighter, but it still smells very similar to the original. This formula of the body butter, I think, is very different from this, though. This is more of like a lotion, kind of. It's not quite as thick as a body butter. So this is actually super moisturizing on your skin, if you're really looking for something to help hydrate your skin, then you might actually like the body butter more from Trader Joe's. And this, I think, is around like five or six dollars. I was really excited to see this and now that they brought it back this summer, hopefully they will continue to do that. But something that they literally just brought out last week is the Brazil Nut Body Scrub. So if you got the body butter last year and you loved it, they now have it in the scrub, which is amazing. I feel like they saw how much hype this was getting and how everybody fell in love with the body butter that they knew they had to bring out the body scrub. So I just got this. I went into stores the other day, so I haven't used it just yet, but the texture of the scrub I don't know. It's kind of giving similar to Tree Hut, but almost like a little bit more grainy. It smells delicious though. This one even smells better than the original that I had smelled in Sephora. I only grabbed one because I wasn't sure if I'd actually like the scrub. I don't know. If I end up trying it and 
falling in love with it I might regret that because I got this like the very first day that it came out and it could definitely be sold out at this point but some of the first ingredients are coconut oil and sunflower seed oil so it does have that little bit more of like oily texture mix in there and sometimes with those oils and mix in with the scrub it really helps moisturize your skin so i'm definitely gonna have to try this one out soon and see what this is all about and decide if i need to pick up another one before it's gone so if you guys haven't gone to trader joe's already i definitely recommend getting the body butter and testing out the scrub if you can get your hands on it okay so we're still talking about the original scent i have a couple other products and then i have some dupes in here as well i do have the body wash and let me tell you guys i had to really think about this purchase because this I think is like a 20 maybe even more somewhere around $20 for a body wash which is very very expensive because you can literally go to the grocery store and get a body wash for around like three to five dollars so I really had to justify this purchase in my head I think I actually picked this up around the time whenever there was a Sephora sale and I decided to go for it because I just love this scent so much and let me tell you guys this is a very luxurious feeling body wash I do really enjoy it if I could use this every day and not feel bad about it I would I think I'm like probably about halfway done with it and that's me using it very sparingly but I do really enjoy it I can't say and tell you guys, you know, it's worth the $20 because it just kind of depends on what your budget is. But I do think it is a very nice quality. The scent on it is very strong. And I just love more creamy, moisturizing body washes. And this definitely feels very moisturizing on my skin, which I love that so much. So I'm on the hunt to find a Sol de Janeiro body wash dupe. Maybe Trader Joe's will shock us next year and come out with a matching body wash. There is one other scent that I can think of that does have a body wash, but the consistency in the body washes are completely different. So there is the scent from Ulta Beauty called Island Breeze and this actually does come in a matching lotion and a shower gel but it is more of like a shower gel so it's not really like a creamy wash like this one is. So I really do like this one but again you know wait for a sale or maybe ask for it for like your birthday or a special occasion something like that so i did talk about this scent in my video where i reviewed or kind of did like a first impressions on all the ulta beauty scents and this is called island breeze i actually think i forgot to mention it in that video so i got a couple comments like asking like what was the name of it yeah it's island breeze and this one is pretty similar to the original sol de janeiro scent i do think it's a much lighter version though so it's not going to be one of those scents that lasts all day it does remind me a lot of that scent and this would be a really great affordable option if you're just going to the beach hanging out the pool or something this would be a good one just to throw in your beach bag because you're not really going to feel bad about just like reapplying it throughout the day a couple others that really give me that vibe but based off the scent notes you wouldn't think so this one in sunset sorbet by victoria's secret pink just reminds me for some reason of the number 62 mist. it smells so similar to it but this has notes of ice papaya and glitter waves I wish they would have given us something a little more to work with, you know, with the scent notes. But basically, this is like a little bit more of like the fruity version of Brazilian Crush. But to me, they smell so similar. And this actually came back this summer, so you might be able to find it still in stores. And they do also have it in the matching body lotion. The last scent comparison that I have is Sunset Glow. While I don't think this one is an exact dupe, this is basically Brazilian Crush if you added a strong cherry note in there, which I think is really nice. So it's a nice little twist on Brazilian Crush has notes of fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. I think the caramelized vanilla and the coconut is really what gives it that Brazilian crush vibe. The cherry note in there really sticks out a lot. That's why I definitely wouldn't say they're dupes, but they're almost kind of like in the same scent family, like maybe like distant cousins. But Sunset Glow is a favorite of mine, so I'm so glad this one came back. And this is another one of those scents that you can get this in the full line. Like you can get it in the shower gel, body cream or body lotion, along with a fragrance mist, and you can always just layer these two together so those are the scents that i can just think of all the top of my head that are very similar to brazilian crush but i don't think anything quite meets up to the original this one i definitely think is worth it i think it's a pretty safe blind buy if you're into like more of those sweeter scents just one of those scents that you really you really can't go wrong with this is a compliment getter people are just going to be attracted to you they're going to be near you they're going to smell this on you especially if you spray this through your hair and just basically spray yourself from head to toe with this it's going to 
last on your skin for hours. Okay, and the last product that I have is the deodorant. So I do have something somewhat similar to it, but the original is like its own separate thing. There's nothing quite else like it. This is an aluminum-free deodorant. You know, your body can sometimes take a little while to adjust to aluminum-free deodorants. The texture of this deodorant, I will say, is something to get used to. It is a very, very soft formula, so it almost feels like a little bit creamy on your armpits, which is something a little bit interesting, especially when it's super hot outside. I don't think everyone personally is going to be a fan of this formula, but the scent, it is such a strong scent. Like, I swear I can smell this whenever it's on my underarms. It smells so good. So whenever I'm wearing a Brazilian Crush especially, I love pulling this one out. So, you know, because it is like a sweeter scent, it has that like caramel and vanilla, you don't really see like sweet gourmand deodorants very often. But the one brand that I can think of that does it very well is Native. Native just has such a unique range of deodorant scents. They have everything from like sweet and gourmand to like fresh and clean. This one is the Buttercream and French Vanilla. And while I don't think these two are dupes, this would be like probably the closest thing at least I have found in my collection. It's just like a warm, sweet, buttercream vanilla scent. Overall, just like very heavy on the vanilla. So that's why I just wanted to mention these really quick. This one you can find in Target. For sure you can find it on Amazon. Now native deodorants, they're not the cheapest, but in comparison to the Sol de Janeiro one, this one is like half the price. I had a feeling I was going to forget this and I had it there on my table and I forgot to mention it. So I'm filming this on my phone. Sorry for the sound. It might be a little bit different, but I did want to include this because this is the glow oil from Sol de Janeiro and it is a very pretty product. I actually use this the other day whenever I was at the pool and it just made my skin look so healthy and glowy and shiny. As you can see, it has this nice sheen to it. There's no glitters in it, so it's not like a sparkle or anything. And the texture of this, it is more of like an oil, but almost kind of like a mix between an oil and a lotion, which I really like. This does have the same Brazilian Crush scent. They do have other shades. There's one that's a little bit lighter, that's more pink tone, and there's one that's a little bit deeper as well. So this is kind of like the medium shade. I did a little dab here on my skin. As you can see, it does have a little bit of a tint to it. So it does give your skin this nice kind of bronzy, glowy look, and it just smells so good. It looks really pretty on your skin, so you can use this on your arms or your legs. And like I said, I was using this at the pool, so I was in and out of the water, and it felt pretty lightweight. It didn't feel too uncomfortable or anything, so I just wanted to mention this one. Also, in case you guys are interested, this is a really good product to use during the summer. I had a lot of fun going through this collection. I am just such a huge fan of Sol de Janeiro. I always look forward to new launches, and it seems like lately they've been coming out with more and more new stuff. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful and enjoy the little extra dupes and comparisons thrown in there. I definitely have more favorites than least favorites in this brand. I really can't choose. Like it is so hard to pick just a number one favorite. I think just the original one is like my go-to that I absolutely love. I do love a lot of the newer scents. I think especially the Ensoul. This just smells like candy and I'm, I'm just really into that lately. I love candy scented fragrances. I've kind of had these put aside for whatever reason until I filmed this video. I'm really looking forward to pulling this one out. Like I mentioned, if you want to smell like a cookie, then go for the number 71. But there really haven't been too many things that I don't like from this line. And I know there's a lot of other products that I still haven't tried. And also one other miss that I'm missing is the Anita. It's the one in like the bright yellow packaging. I kind of want to go revisit that one because at the time I just, I wasn't feeling like all the fruity scents. I've definitely grown to enjoy them more and I remember that being like a very like juicy sweet passion fruit scent. But I just remember at the time whenever I smelled it in stores I wasn't a huge fan. I think that's enough rambling. This video is probably super long like all my other ones. I say that all the time but here we are. So if you guys are here at the end of this video thank you. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this please get a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and helps my videos whenever you do. Of course let me know your top favorites and also if you try the perfume let me know if it's worth it because I will definitely add that to my wish list for next time but that's gonna be it for today's video please subscribe if you have not already make sure to turn on your post notifications that way you guys won't miss the next upload I love you all so much thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye